turn around because this is how you enter. Got to come around here. Go up here. And we'll just make this turn. Go down a little bit. There we go. And it's perfect because the ramp is right here in front of the garage. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo 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 we have another house to go check out, you know what I mean? It's a new year, so uh, we got some new properties and stuff to go get. So let's go ahead and uh, take one of our dancers with us. I think she's around here somewhere. I think she might be taking a swim or something. Where you at, girl? Uh, damn it, where are you at? She's somewhere around here. Oh, there she go. I don't know why she over there. Come on, girl, let's go. All right, well, anyway. We're gonna take one of our dancers with us to uh, check out this new crib. Um, I was gonna have all the dancers stay in the back over there, but uh, I'm not sure if they're all gonna fit. Plus, we don't have like real bedrooms in there, or bathrooms, so the dancers are gonna have to be continuously in my house and using up my bathroom. And you know how the ladies take a, a nice long time to get ready, so let's go check out this house and uh, we might just put them over there, you know what I mean? All right, so come on, love. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to be taking Big Lex out. That's right. Big Lex. You see it. Go on and get them cakes in, Big Lex. All right. Let's ride on now. Let's get in first person there. There we go. Light up a little bit. Some skunk. And let's be on our way, yo. All right, so this one is going to be by our one of our beach mansions actually it's it's like half a block away from our beach mansion so it's, it's, it's kind of perfect it works out real good hold on I think we're gonna take the wrong turn okay so it works out real good because um, I can kind of keep a closer eye you know on the property and um, if I move the girls in then I can really keep an extra eye on them make sure that they're you know, not inviting some other dudes over there to mess up the money or anything like that, you know? If they want to go visit their boyfriend, they have to go to their boyfriend's house, right? You know, this this is going to be a house for the dancers. Oh! Wow. Sorry about that, miss. You know, things happen, you know? <laughs> things happen. <laughs> All right. So, like I was saying, man, hopefully the girls could, uh... You know, if we do choose to move them in, hopefully they'll, you know, act right and uh, be on their best behavior in that house as well. We don't want them to be like the baddies, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, they could be like baddies, but just don't tear up the house, you know what I mean? Because I got to pay for all that, so. You know, if they have fights, you know, at least have them, like, on the beach, you know what I mean? Because your backyard is literally the beach. So, like, if y'all got any problems in the house, might as well just go out take it outside to the beach in the sand and uh, fight all you want you know you can't break nothing but bones in the sand so I don't want them to break their bones though you know what I mean because we still gotta get them out there to dance so I probably don't want them to fight neither you know because they'll be all bruised in the strip club and stuff so um, no fighting yeah no fighting we're gonna have to put a sign that says no fighting <laughs> Uh, I can see if we were really shooting the bad girls club thing out here, but yeah, we're not. <laughs> All right, so look like we have arrived over here. Like I said, uh, my crib is right, right up the street. Go straight ahead. Actually, it's it's not right up the street. It's kind of up the highway a little bit. It's actually up the highway a little bit. All right, so this is it right here. Let me go and put this out. All right, and we'll turn around because this is how you enter got to come around here 
go up here. And we'll just make this turn. Go down a little bit. There we go. And it's perfect because the ramp is right here in front of the garage. So you can easily drive in and park. And I think you can fit about probably about three cars in here, you know. Probably two side by side. Probably three to four cars, actually, now I think about it. All right, Ma. Come on and check it out. So let's go ahead and uh, do our bird's eye view of the place first, as we always do. Going up. And this is going to be one of our new beach. Uh, I would say, yeah, I would say a loft. All right, we'll call it a beach loft, not a mansion. Beach loft. Everything can be a mansion, right? All right. So we're gonna call this uh, our new loft right here. That's dope, man. We got um, we got the ramp right there going in. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. We got one, two, three, four floors, yo. Floor, four floors. All right, let's get a good. Let's go ahead and get a screenshot of that selfie. All right, let's get back into it. All right, so as you can see, this is the beginning of the house right here. Hold on, let me uh, let home girl out. Come on, girl, get out. You gotta let it raise first, and then come on, hurry up before it uh, comes back down. Hurry up, girl. Come on, let's go. Don't get stuck in there again. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, this is the front of the house. Uh, we have some nice landscaping out here with some trees and some uh, some mini palm trees over there. Um, some bushes, grass, all that. Nice little landscaping. Um, if we come around here, this will be actually our uh, front door, kind of like right here. So if you don't want to enter into the garage, you can enter in right there to the front door. Hey, and this is uh, another open door right here that could be closed this will lead you straight into the living room on the first floor i'm just kind of showing y'all the outside first all right so let's go ahead and head in we're going to go in through the garage because they also have a door that enters in through the garage as well all right we're just going to let her wander around and do her thing and uh when we come out here we'll grab her all right so when you park your car in the garage you want to come through this door all right come through this door you can actually come around this way, and this will lead you into the house right here, okay? So first off, you see the kitchen right there, fully loaded kitchen. Um, you got the stairs going upstairs right there. Like I mentioned earlier, this will be uh, your front door. How, oop, how you will be able to come in, okay? It's kind of confusing right there, right? I know, I know. Just come in on this side. <laughs> All right, and if you go past the uh, kitchen right there, we will be in our living room that we seen earlier outside. We got nice clocks and uh, furniture in here. You know, it's real modern looking. We have our fully entertainment system right there. Fully entertained entertainment system with the fireplace right beneath the, uh, the flat screen TV right there. We have the surround sound speakers. Nice little coffee table and rug and marble floors in here. Looking nice. And this right here will lead you to the backyard area. Really want to call this a backyard area, more like a patio, if you will. So we have like a dining area right here. You could dine outside, you know, on a, on a nice warm night or during the daytime. Um, also got some lounging couches out here. Some lounging couches or seats. I don't know what, what you would call them. I like to call them like, like love lounge seats. There you go, LLS. So we got the LLS right here, the love lounge seats. Um, we also got the pool, as you can see. Definitely, I mean, pfft gotta have a pool but right by the beach right but then again if we're by the beach who needs a pool but anyway all right so we got the pool and uh, let's see if we continue on down here this door will also lead you outside this door is um, leading into the kitchen kitchen area stop right there wait for the doors to open and you will be in the kitchen area all right and if we go right back out we'll be back out here in the back patio area where the pool is at and we have two barbecue pits right here you know what i mean frank loves to barbecue and i love the barbecue too so it's a must that we have barbecue pits and you have some windows right here where you can see your cars parked inside the garage right right nice touch then you have your beautiful ladies right here um can't really show them you know because they're out here 
getting their tan on. They don't have any shirts on. But ladies, how you doing? All right, good, good, good. Um, and let's see. Over here, you see the neighbors and stuff like that. All right. Looks like we got the best house out here, man. Probably the biggest, too. All right, let's go. Let's head back over here. And we'll go through uh, this door right here. Lead you in back through by the kitchen. And what we're going to do is go up this side right here. These steps will lead you up to the second floor. All right. It's going to be two flights right there. And we're on the second floor. All right. So if you look to the left, we have another living room area right here. We have uh, some nice furniture right here, some nice couches, modern looking couches with a nice rug in the middle. We also have some um, some photography uh, lights in here as well, just in case, you know, you wanted to uh, do some some type of videos in here or a photo shoot. You got the lights and you're all set and ready. All right. Um, we also have some access to the balcony right here. All right. Nice access to the balcony on the second floor where you could uh, get a good, nice view of the beach and the water. And just chill. Yeah, yeah. You can pretty much see way over there, too. All right. So, going back in, this is going to be what, um, probably like our second living room right here. And on the other end of the living room, on the other side, shall I say, you also have another balcony out here where we can see our lovely dancer being very confused out there. Um, well, anyway. This is a nice balcony. You could check out the front of the house. You know, you have um, the view of the mountains and stuff right there. Uh, let's head back inside and go to the other end of the second floor. Going this way right here is going to lead you into the pool area. Okay, uh, this is where we could play pool at. I would say a gaming area, but nah, it just has a pool table. All right, you know, we don't need arcades in every house. But I do love playing pool. All right. So if you keep going, you also have another balcony right here on this side. You can check out that good, nice, beautiful ocean water. And um, it just pretty much goes to that wall. And you will have to walk back. But you have this nice overview of the first living room that we've seen on the first floor. So you get a good, nice view of that. Keep an eye on who's uh, chilling in your house from the second floor. And then on this side... You also have another balcony, okay? So there's going to be a lot of balconies so you can walk out, get you some nice fresh air, check out some views, you know. Just soak it all in, right? All right, so this will complete the second floor. To access the third floor, we're just going to go ahead and go up the steps right over here. And then go up. And as you can see, this is the third floor. Okay, starting off with the left, we are going to have our bedroom. Okay, this is one bedroom right here, bedroom one. And if you look over here, we also have some more balcony action right here. And we also have a table and two seats. As you can see, we got two guys out there enjoying some little tea, like they're having a tea party or something like that. A grown man tea party. Um, and then come in, we got your nice bed. You got two nightstands over here. You have a dresser. Um, you can put your clothes in. Also have the computer. I know you've seen the computer. It could be used for a security system or you could do um, your YouTube and all your social media type of stuff right here. Um, even got a laptop there for you as well. Some nice pictures on the wall. And also got the marble look on the wall and the ceiling, as you can see. And we have another balcony. But on this balcony, you have the telescope. And you could use the telescope. That's right. It's not just for looks. Okay. So as you can see, you can see the nice little boathouse out there. You know, you can zoom in and see whatever you want to see. Let's see any ladies on the beach. Ladies. Or you could be a perv and just like look into people's houses and stuff like that. I, I would be careful doing that. Um, all right. So that is the telescope on uh, I don't know what number balcony this is. It might be like balcony number four. All right. So exiting out of bedroom number one, we're going to go down here, come through this door. All right. And as you can see, straight when we come in through this door, we will be in this nice little area right here. Um, and it has uh, somewhat of a mirror right there. 
But this is also like a chill area. You could also add some furniture right here or something too. Um, coming down this way, you also have another balcony, probably balcony five or six. This one also comes with a table, two teacups, two chairs. You can have a tea party. And if you go around on this side of the balcony, you will have more balcony. Pretty much you can walk all the way to the other side of this bedroom, which will be bedroom two. Okay, this will be bedroom number two. Um, you can make up your mind which one will be the master bedroom. Uh, one has a TV, the other one doesn't. That's how I kind of determine which one is like the main bedroom, right? Or the master bedroom. So as you can see, this bedroom right here has its own um, entertainment system right there. Two nightstands, some nice paintings and plants. The marble wall behind the bed. Very modern looking, if you will. Yep, yep, yep. Got your windows and everything, yo. It's pretty nice out here, y'all. So y'all let me know down in the comments, man. Which one will be the master bedroom for you? Will it be the one, the one with the TV, or would it be two, the one without the TV? All right, let me know down in the comments, yo. So now that we're done with the second, oh, actually the third floor, excuse me. This is the third floor. Let's go ahead and go up these stairs and head to the fourth floor, which is actually the roof. All right, that's right, folks. We got a rooftop where we could come and chill at. And when you come out here to the left, you will see a dining table right here. All right, you could come up all those steps and come and eat your food up here and enjoy this nice, good weather. Uh, you also got your couches up here. I guess this will be like living room three, probably. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with living room three. So this will be living room three. And you have your uh, full entertainment system right here, surround speakers. You have everything you need right here. Um, and of course you have all of this glorious view from the rooftop right here you can see all of the ocean you can see your neighbors you could even take a piss on your neighbor's house I wouldn't suggest that but you know you're high enough to do that where they won't see you and they'll probably just think that it's raining all right but um yeah this is uh this side of the rooftop let's go to the other side of the rooftop Passing by the steps over here. We're going to have another nice lounging area over here. Um, I guess this will be uh, living room four, right? Living room four. We got room one, two, and that's three. Okay, so living room four. It's going to be living room four right here on the rooftop. You can sit back, chill with your friends, or just chill by yourself. You know what I mean? You can smoke something, you know, have little drinks, you know. And over here, you can play some golf if you want to. It's a pretty clear area. You can add whatever you want to right here, right? More views of that uh, glorious, beautiful mountain right there, right? Uh-huh. This is nice. I think the ladies will love this, actually. I think they will love this, you know? Um, I got a couple of my fellas that uh, be over my, uh, my old house, you know, the second house, actually. And... Um, yeah, man, they, they always chilling in the back in the in-law part where the girls are supposed to stay at. And uh, the girls can't really get dressed and, you know, do any private things without uh, them just staring at them. So, yeah, you know. So, but if we go down this way right here. All right, this will lead you back down. So, you actually have um, some two stairways going up, okay, from the second floor right there all right let's go ahead and head down well who's, who's that in the back over there who's that in the back over there oh i think that's the neighbors actually let me let me see yeah that's the neighbors okay they're on their balcony okay <laughs> i was i was about to say who's those strangers in my house man all right let's go ahead and head down let me know what y'all think of this crib right here yo um yeah, we definitely might have to, uh, well, not might. We're definitely going to move the ladies in here. They have their own kitchen. You know, um, if any one of them know how to cook, you know, then she could cook for everybody. Because uh, I don't think all these girls know how to cook. You know what I mean? They, they usually just use the microwave. And they don't even use the oven. They use the microwave or DoorDash. So, you know, we got a kitchen for whoever know how to cook out there. Unless they want to spend all their money on DoorDash. And uh, this kind of sucks right here. My neighbors, man, I wish, I, I really wish they would, like, repaint their house. It's kind of dropping the value of my property. 
You know, my value, like, 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 just look at my property again, man. You don't see no rust on my building, right? No rust. Just marble. Marble and cocaine white walls. That's all you see. And then you see this eyesore right next door to it. Come on, buddies. We got to get it together, y'all. <laughs> Dropping my, my property value, bro. <laughs> oh, man. It's all good. All right. We'll leave him to it. All right, so uh, yeah, man, that's gonna conclude our tour right there at this house. Let me know what y'all think, man. If we should just, you know, leave it to the ladies to live in or actually turn it into a nice little baddie spot. Actually, I think we're gonna call this the baddies, man. We're gonna have Franklin's Baddies of Los Santos. They got a nice ring to it, don't it? Oh, hey, you finally decided to come in. You should have walked around with me, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, you'll have all the time to, you know, check stuff out. You'll be living here from now on, so. No, that go. All right. So, yeah, man. Uh, this is pretty decent, man. I'm going to go ahead and take her to get something to eat real quick. We're going to sit back and uh, talk about this place and uh, what females we're going to get to live here also. We're not just going to take all the dancers. Uh, dancers, first of all, have to be uh, really making a lot of money. You know what I mean? Got to have some loyal dancers, some faithful dancers, you know, faithful to Big Ball and Franklin. You know what I mean? Yeah, they could be loyal to me and faithful to me. That's right. Without me being their boyfriend, right? <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and take her out to get something to eat. But in the meanwhile, man, if you all enjoyed this video, man, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's your video with your friends that are in a modding GTA 5. Y'all, this game's graphics me a big ball of ass, Frank. We out of here. Until next time, dude. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.